Have you, have you found the Wibbly lever on your starship yet, Linkara? <laughs> That's the worst a word you said. The Wibbly lever. Have you found it? <laughs> you ruined my joke, goddammit. I still couldn't understand the fucking word he said. It was just like, <laughs> did you find the Wibbly baby? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gav. It, it was... <sighs> The Wibbly Lever is a reference to the Doctor Who uh, two-part specials that were that were uh, released a few days ago, and yeah. they were very funny. <laughs> I know I said it a couple of times to you on Twitter, but that last pit was straight out of Bill and Ted. It was a time game. What is it with him and, and his love of uh, of all the of of the time travel paradoxes? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he is just, just like he loves to complicate his own stories a little bit too much. But then it's just go. Not okay, they're bad. It's just, it's just it's a recurring thing I keep seeing with him. <laughs> yeah, little teapot. It was my fault. No, it couldn't have possibly your fault. Well, it could because it was my skirt, my husband, and your glass floor. <laughs> yeah. You're getting a little more adult with some of these jokes. Jaden Nova, you may not poke the bear. My current Pokemans team? Uh, let me look up some of the names of these things. While loading up, uh, Haps at Shut, I met Liz at uh, the bookstore I used to work at. Oh, Tori. You aren't the only one that thought the new part, the new Daleks look like Power Rangers. If you look on the YouTube, there is. Okay, the for the love of God, they don't look like freaking Power Rangers. They look like the freaking 1960s movie style things with multicolored Daleks. It's, this is not the first time we've had multicolored Daleks. I know, but it, it, the reason the Daleks look stupid is because they look more squat and they look more fattened out. That's why they look <laughs> dumb. Somebody did do a good video on YouTube though, where it was basically them. To the tune of Power Rangers. I've seen about a dozen of those, and frankly, to be perfectly honest, I haven't really seen any that really impressed me. Anyway, <laughs> my Pokemans. Uh, Pidove, Mana, Servine, Ivy, Sword, Charmeleon, Wartortle. <laughs> hey. If anyone wants to go on Global Agenda, it's 10 bucks right now. I guarantee I could probably still give you my 50% off so you can get it for 5 bucks, And all the proceeds go to Japan. What, what, sir? If you buy Global Agenda now, it's only 10 bucks, and all proceeds go to Japan. Global Agenda. Uh, Japan. yes, Dragonfed. Grand Moff Tarkin was one of the Doctors. For the, for the two, uh, 1960s movies, uh, Peter Cushing played the Doctor in those. Yeah, JNP, I finally bit the bullet and uh, got an action replay so I could get my freaking uh, original starters like I had originally planned. Shiny Kid is not impressed with your action replay. No, Mike Anthony, I have not seen the... I have not heard the latest Eighth Doctor story. Where'd the go? Uh, not necessarily Ganondorf because those uh, those movies, they're not bad if they were what they were. But as Doctor Who stories, they change a lot of things. <laughs> I didn't know work had left. I think you're going for food. Oh, just organize food. Hmm.
Okay, guys, the reason why I had to do so is because, as I said earlier, I can't connect to the Nintendo Wi-Fi. I can't get someone to send them to me. Why can't you? Different wireless. Because my security for my a, for my yeah. a router is too advanced for this stupid thing. I have the same problem. You need you need something of a DSI onwards. Could you uh-huh. turn it down, the, the security, or there's no option to? There's no option to, at least none that i found. And frankly, I don't want to screw around with the security that I did not set up. Yeah, that's my problem. I, I didn't want to drop the security on my entire network just so I could trade Pokemon. Yeah. Well, you can, so I'm I, saying you can lower your security encoding. Well, no, that's, that. what, that's what we're saying. Okay, you're not listening. I didn't set this thing up. So I'm not going to screw with it. Yeah. Modern routers all want WPA security settings. The old Nintendo DS only operates on WEP. Um, the, like I say, you need something from the DSi onwards to, for it to recognize WPA. And like, and like I said, I originally I bought a second DS strictly for the purpose of transferring Pokemon, thinking I could do that, even after a complicated four trades between several different games. I wouldn't have minded doing that, but no, I'm not allowed to play with my old stuff. I'm not allowed to set up a team on the game that I purchased money for, that they don't care about, that I have set up on my freaking system. <laughs> I don't know why they care. Yes, I I understand all the logic behind why they they chose to do so, but you know what? It's my game. I own it. I should be able to do whatever the hell I did. Oh with my blessed eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yes, my Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattatas. <laughs> That's not an Adamantium Rage gamer. It's a Pokemon Rage. Yeah, it's Pokemon Rage. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, I got the three I wanted, and now I'm not going to use the stupid cheating device anymore. I got what (laughs) I wanted. (laughs) All right, 26 minutes left to download and play Monday Night Combat. Meh. What is my favorite Pokemans? Uh, probably either Bulbasaur or Weedle. I wish you could forfeit games off your Steam and just never have them anymore so I could stop looking at this game. You know what would have been really good? I was actually thinking of getting that USB device that would have allowed me to connect to it uh, the wireless that way. Yeah. That would have worked out really well, but apparently the thing doesn't work with Windows 7. <laughs> See, it's Nintendo. They don't build for the future. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, how many of you out there would pay to have a Pokemon MMO? I would be the first to play that. <laughs> that would be freaking awesome. I mention that like every day. It's just a diffi- I think it's a difficult thing to, to organize because it's the whole, you know, releasing Pokemon, recalling them every single fight. The only no. Pokemon MMO would work is if you were a Pokemon. No. No, it no you're fucking wrong. It's just you just you just, need to... you just have to change doing the turn-based combat, and they're lazy, and they never do, and they always, always, always do the turn-based crap. I'm sorry, it gets really boring just doing turn-based stuff over and over and over and over. Why change the formula that it already works? Because you want it to be an MMO. Okay, now, all right, here's the thing. The Pokemon MMO will never work. It will Stop work. saying it, it will. Already it already exists. Won't. It won't work. It exists. No, it won't. It it's won't already work. there. It does not. No, it will not work. The way I don't they care do what it. you say. You can keep trying to say this. You just want to put a regular MMO and put Pokemon on top of it. Okay, Chris, 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 here's how you do it. Here's how you do it. Instead of having a sorcerer who casts spells, you cast a single Pokemon, and then you click on the enemy and have them attack. Or you have that Pokemon it's do po- its own individual Pokemon. attacks. They have one. It would not work, I'm telling you that. They just, I think no, the one they have is just a Pokemon game that's online. Yeah, the, the old, I think the best way it'd work is not as an actual MMO, but more as an online hub. No, that's stupid. They need a real MMO of it. All right, tell Pokemon. you what, tell you what, you know what would also work? You know what I, also I'd be happy with, even if it wasn't an MMO? I would like 
a third person or first person Pokemon game where I can actually like walk from city to city. And yes, we sort of get that with the, with with uh, white and black, but I mean like an actual 3D for the Wii for any of the newer consoles where you actually travel like real time travel between cities. You know, big create a huge freaking world. Yeah. That I would but enjoy. People that want to see Pokemon like just walking dream. around. They want to see like a Pikachu just chilling there, and like, "Hey, there's Pikachu! I want to go punch him in the face and throw throw a ball in its in its head and then catch it." <laughs> <laughs> when you catch your first Pokemon, you have to physically beat him up with your own fists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'd go that far. <laughs> you've been watching. The, you've been reading that comic of the dude with the magic cap, haven't you? No. The magic cap can't actually fight, so he just beats people over the head with it. <laughs> Until it evolves. I mean, imagine how cool it would be fighting a legendary that actually was huge compared to you. And then the one asshole in the old MMO that catches him. <laughs> Everyone throws, throws <laughs> Pokeballs at him like crazy and someone catches him. You just see you Pokeballs flooding. <laughs> 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 you, you'd be fighting shit no matter where you are in that game and there's, there's just be Pokeballs coming from everywhere. Everyone's trying to catch stuff. <laughs> Pulling things with Pokeballs. <laughs> Pokemon Steeler. <laughs> if you play Warcraft 3, there's, there's actually a really funny uh, Pokemon map that they added, and it's like a huge open world thing with this every Pokemon. It, like it's it's massive, and the way you catch things is you your Pokeballs and attack, and if you kill them with the Pokeball, you actually catch them. It's really funny. So you're just like throwing Pokeballs like like a machine gun <laughs> trying to catch things. I think I've seen Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and it's not what I, and that is not what I'm talking about. <laughs> People just want open world where you can see Pokemon roaming around. An open world game. That's that's the term I was looking for. Yeah. Maybe not actually an MMO in, in the traditional sense, but an open world game. That'd what cool. is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Is that a DS game where you draw circles? No, that's Pokemon Ranger. Mystery Dungeon is um, it's a weird, furry kind of game. <laughs> you basically wake up and you've turned into a Pokemon. Oh, great. Yeah, um, I remember that. Uh, that that was not what I'm talking about. Is it an actual game? Yeah. Oh, it's an actual game, yeah. Is it so much to ask. <laughs> yeah, I've read bits of Dr. McNinja. Biffy. Everyone got very quiet. I'm all alone. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm reading the uh, latest you super effective comics. Uh, Fuck that comic. It, it's crap, but it's, it, every now and again it makes me laugh. I don't look back to no. like a month all I Scott did. All Scott did was he fucking took Pokemon and he drew it. He drew the story. With like a stupid face on it, and he yeah, comes. but he amuses. He gets a quick laugh out of me every now and again. No, because he doesn't do anything. He releases one comic a year for yeah. either of his comics, and then he then he thinks he's doing stuff. Fuck him. Yeah, he goes effective. to seven different conventions. Yeah. I think that's, that's his thing now. His thing is to go to conventions. He's not a web comic artist. He, he's a convention dude. You're reading super effective. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super bulk of Bulbasaur. It's yeah. always it's always amazing when you do actually see a new comic come out. Yeah, it's time to train hard, bunker down, and do our best. You know, you know, I it's not it's happened. Books of rare candies. The newest VG cats is probably from a year ago. Yeah. Now the newest VG cats. Remember, it's the it's the. Uh, it's still crazy. <laughs> it's like a year late. I fucking love that. Like seven months after the people had stopped caring about fucking crates, he does a crates comic. <laughs> 
He was probably proud when he did that, too. He's like, that was topical, man. I just <laughs> nailed that. I told Valve what's up. Ooh, Val- a- Meanwhile, Valve's on, like, Series 12 of crates. <laughs> they are. <laughs> I think it must be his, his hibernation period. We can still find out what's, what was popular and does it then. Nuzlocke's Challenge comic is 